In this video, we review how using a pre-filter for your laser might be your best bet for optimum dust collection. If you've ever made rubber stamps, especially in any kind of volume, then you know what kind of a mess the dust left over from a graving can make. We make a lot of rubber stamps, which required us to find the best way to exhaust the rubber dust. I'm going to go over the method that works great for us and may work for you depending on your volume and the types of materials you're working with. Some of you that have been running a laser business would probably just say exhaust your fumes and dust outside and be done with it. However, we found that if you run your exhaust hoses out a roll-up door or out your ceiling, in no time at all the surrounding area will be seriously coated in thick layers of dust. You might also have neighbors that won't appreciate the dust and smells. So, if you're like us and wanted to keep your laser equipment inside, requiring the use of a filtration type exhaust system, then you'd have a big problem. Your expensive filters might get clogged with dust within days of heavy engraving volume. But first, a quick refresher on the type of exhaust system I'm talking about. A laser has to have its fumes and cutting debris exhausted somehow. There are two ways this is done. The basic way is to use a blower motor or fan that exhausts outside into the atmosphere. The second way is to use an all-in-one exhaust filtration system. This system allows you to run your laser inside a warehouse or even an office environment. It extracts all the nasty, smelly fumes and debris and captures them in a series of filters before exhausting cleaned air into your workspace. Here's an example of this setup. It shows a Universal Laser Systems laser connected directly to a BOFA filtration unit that exhausts filtered clean air into our warehouse. In this case shown, this setup is only doing very light engraving and producing extremely little dust, so clogged filters is not an issue. However, if you're engraving and cutting materials that give off a lot of dust, replacing the filters in one of these systems can get extremely expensive. The most efficient and cheap way to make the system work is to capture the bulk of the heavy dust before it gets to the filtration system. This way the filters can do their job removing the microscopic particles and gases without getting immediately clogged. This will greatly extend their life, saving you a lot of money in the long run. We've tried making our own pre-filter boxes and even tried a cyclone dust collector like woodworkers use to capture sawdust. Unfortunately, these options never work well enough or require too much maintenance. The answer was a pre-filter system provided by Trotec Laser. And if someone else sells something like this, as of this video, I still couldn't find anything like it. What's funny is that there's almost no information about this system out there. I couldn't even find anything about it on Trotec's website, with the exception of a reference to a downloadable technical data sheet. There's plenty of information about their Atmos Duo filtration system, which is what we also use, but not their pre-filter system. If I hadn't had a discussion with one of their reps a long time ago where it was mentioned, I wouldn't have even known it existed. I even visited one of their showrooms and they didn't have it there. When I tried to find more information about it online, like in a YouTube video, I still couldn't find anything. So we thought we should share this information. How the system works is really stupidly simple. The laser exhaust enters the pre-filter unit, moving up into the round filter. As the air is forced through the filter, dust is trapped inside. The air that comes out of the filter has been mostly cleaned of heavy particles. What remains is the more microscopic particles and the stinky smelly gases that now move into the exhaust filtration cabinet for further filtering. In the end, you're left with nice clean air exhausted back into your workspace. Here we show what the inside of the round filter looks like before and after dust has been trapped inside of it. The dust that is now coating the inside of the filter is then knocked off by a set of rubber bladed paddles that are rotated both clockwise and counterclockwise inside the filter. Depending on the type of unit, the paddles are either periodically rotated automatically with a built-in motor or rotated by hand using a crank handle on the front of the machine. The dust and debris then falls straight down into a bucket that can be periodically removed and dumped. We use both the automatic and manual pre-filter systems. I think the manual pre-filter system right now goes for roughly $3,500 and the automatic pre-filter system is maybe a few thousand more. The prices might also be lower if you're bundling these in with a laser system purchase. 
Obviously, you would need to contact Protech Laser directly and speak to a sales rep to check current pricing if you're interested. We would personally recommend the manual system over the automatic system, and not just because of the price. Through some testing, we found that we really only have to turn the crank handle at the end of our daily production run, so that's not a big time suck. The automatic version's paddles turn a lot more, which will wear out the filter faster. Over time, the constant rubbing of the paddles will start to wear holes in the filter, which will allow the dust to get through. Currently, a replacement filter runs about $700. The filter in our automatic unit lasted about two years of daily use. I think the filter in the manual pre-filter units will greatly outlast that because we turn the paddles a lot less frequently. The automatic pre-filter also takes up a little more floor space, so if you have limited space, that could be a consideration too. And yes, you might be thinking that a pre-filter system sounds pretty expensive, and you wouldn't be wrong. You might also be thinking that you could probably build a pre-filter system yourself that does this job. And if you're creative, maybe you can, but it won't be free, and you'll have to figure out if it's really worth your time. We tried this route, but we're really unhappy with the results. But maybe you'd have more luck than us. Regardless if you're a shop with a single laser or a production facility with a number of lasers, this might be a great solution for you. It was for us. At the minimum, if you didn't know this existed before, you know it now. And knowing is half the battle. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and how your current dust collection setup works. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more laser videos coming soon. Stay tuned.